Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is the Sparrow Jenny, this is Tempest, a Pirates themed sort of RPG slash naval action, a very simple naval simulator. It is made by Lion's Shade and published by Hero Craft, which, if I'm not mistaken, it's a Russian company. I seriously had hopes that Tempest would be Sid Meier's Pirates spiritual successor, but it really doesn't deliver the kind of experience I was expecting. In the settings over here, we can see that we have touch controls, which allows you, if you have a monitor with touch technology, to use that in the game. And one of the signs that the game is still not finished at all is that when you want to start a new game, you have profiles. Over here I have my own profile, and you cannot have several profiles. If you want to start a new game, you have to start a new profile, but that makes you quit the game and restart it. And you have to do that manually. And when you do that, even the settings are all reset. But that's just one of the problems I have with the game. Let's start a new story. Supposedly, you are this guy that is navigating the seven seas looking for people. There is really no cinematics, there's really no... no something that puts you in the story. It just feels like, okay, I'm over here, let's start doing stuff on my own. In a brutal battle, a mysterious creature sunk my old ship, Genriot, or Genriot. I hope my old friends are still alive, I need to find them quickly, and I need to start from the Isle of Jeanette. This is a very... Uh, poor start. So you lost the ship. But you have a chip over here that you can use. That is already confusing. Another thing that I dislike about this game, and I'm, I'm sorry for bashing it so badly right now. I am going to get to the good stuff, I promise. The game is very difficult. And if, if you have troubles with it, you should really lower the difficulty. You have low, medium, and hard difficulty. If you are new to the game, you surely need... To select the low difficulty because you will have a lot of problems with it not to mention that the game does a terrible job just a terrible job teaching you how to play tutorials are existent but they only show up once in a while and now we're getting to the good stuff i love the style of this i love how you can just sort out one way for your ship and draw in the map which way your ship is going to take so if i do this you will do that path over there you control your ship over here with your mouse. I would honestly prefer to see a ship over there other than an icon, but that's just fine. Let's get to the Jeanette Island, or Jeanette. I don't know if I'm murdering the name of it or not. A pirate port. So we're going to click on that, and in every single dock, you can do several stuff that you should be expecting. Things like customizing your ship, upgrading it, find new sailors and whatnot. Let's open this letter. It is tied with the main story. Graphics here are not ideal, and I think I would have preferred to just not see this screen and just watch and read the, the letter. Just as I thought, old Rick was waiting for me in the tavern. We meet there each time our paths diverge. He said that his brother Jack went to look for me on the islands of Louisa and Amelia. I think I should catch up with him. You've got this guy. I know old Rick from my childhood. He was both Swain on my father's ship and knows his business even if he is not good for anything else. So this guy, you have sailor men, you have pirates, you have your crew, your normal crew, which will gather experience and become more expert in what they do. Then you have this sort of heroes which you can put in your ship to use and they will give you several benefits. If I come to this screen over here, I have these three slots where I can choose one of the heroes. You will have several heroes throughout the the game, and this guy is one of them. So I'm gonna use this guy over here. The interface is so damn clunky, and that is one of the things that I will criticize the most. It is optimized for touch screen, not for your computer, and I hate that. Here's a tavern, and this is how you recruit uh, your crew. In your ship, you have the hull, where you have the guys that manage the cannons. You have the dock where you have the people that will fight uh, up there in the surface and will just shoot other boats, other ships, and you have the guys in the sails. And the more to the right you go, you see these levels over here, the more expert they are. 
So this guy has an efficiency of 7. This guy, however, has an efficiency of 15. Because he's in this level over here. And in order to bring these guys to these levels, you gotta train them and you gotta drag them over here. Now, what the hell is that? I still uh, honestly don't get what is that bar. And why does it increase the further to the left you go? I think it means it's the amount of people that you're putting to train. So if you drag, let's say, currently I can't do that, but if you had two guys over here, the more you would drag the guy to the left, the more Sillermans you would be putting into training. That is poorly optimized for your computer. In this game, you also have things called artifacts, which will supposedly give you, I never got to this point, supposedly give you a sort of an advantage as well. Over here, you can customize your ship. Uh, I really love this future, but I think they should have done it in a way that you need to buy the customizations because it's just too easy. Get in this panel. I just started the game and I can already change everything up. I can change the color of my flags. I can change the, the, the sails. I'm gonna put this one. This is the one I love the most. I can choose one of the holes. I'm gonna choose this one. I can choose my own pirate look. I'm gonna go with this one. There's no customization over here. I have no idea what is this. No idea what is this either. In here I can choose some sort of protection even though this is just cosmetics. It doesn't mean anything in combat and I cannot customize anything over here either. So that's it. I just customized my pirate ship and I didn't even spend a penny. And it kind of feels shallow to me. What else can I show you? In here you can choose several uh, types of equipment which again will give you a certain advantage. In your ship you have medikits and you have supplies. I have no idea what the wine does but I do predict that this is to prevent riots. And you have the medicines which heal your crew when they are wounded. And obviously you have several types of cannonballs. These ones do a lot of hull damage. This one does a lot of crew damage. And this destroys the sails. When you find pirates, you can either engage in combat or auto fight, which is fine. But, incredibly enough, you can just leave. I just left. I was not forced to get into combat. I was not I was not hindered by choosing to leave. They did not chase me. Nothing. I could just leave and sail on my own. And I feel that's pretty pretty stupid and very simple. It's just ah, I wish this game would give you a more deep experience. Either way, this is the fun part, and this is what I enjoy the most about this game. Which is the, obviously, the combat, which you are seeing over here. The map is pretty beautiful. Water is well done. The naval aspect of it, how you manage your ship and whatnot, it's very simplistic, but it does the job. So, if you have ever played a naval simulator, obviously, you will be able to shoot only from the sides. And you have several choices over here. To fire, you press space. You can go forward at full speed, 100 sail speed. Then you can go down to 50 or to stop and launch your anchor. As you can see, I just started the game. This is my first fight and this is medium difficulty. And look at how much damage they're doing. And I'm not getting any tutorials at all. I'm not getting any explanations what these shots mean. I'm not getting any explanations how to, you know, some tips tips to be more effective. In a game where you start with this difficulty, having a good tutorial is essential. I don't even know why shouldn't I shoot whenever my cannons are ready, you know? Because right now, that line is still opening up. What that means basically is it takes a short while for your cannons to be fully ready. But it seems that you can already fire them when they are in this state. But no, they need to sort of open up the accuracy panel either way it's a b little bit confusing and I feel they should have done it much better in terms of graphics and visuals the game looks awesome and it looks pretty good to me not you know game breaking graphics but it does the job at the end of the battle I will just automatically pick up all the supplies in the in the combat scene I can do it just like that I can speed up and I don't know why you would have this I guess it's for people that would like to 
explore and enjoy a little bit more the, the visuals. But uh, now I will just click that button and leave. So I destroyed two ships, I gained a little bit of experience and I wasted 72 cannonballs. So, I'm not sure if your ship repairs automatically after you leave the battle or if it recovers a little bit if your crew repairs your ship a little bit. Because whenever I get into an island, I come over here and my ship integrity is at 90%, which is pretty good for someone that just got wrecked like I did. Jack was here not long ago. I need to go to the next island. So we're still chasing this guy and he's not in this island. Let's see. They don't even let me repair the ship over here. You need to get to a dock with an advanced dock where you can repair finally your ship. So how do you practice or how do you train your sailor guys? You just have to drag one of them, the one you want to train. And I'm going to train one of the most newbie ones like this. And I'm going to drag him over here. Now... He changed to that level over there. As you can see, that number increased, which is pretty good. My efficiency should increase as well. But if I'm not mistaken, I'm not getting any efficiency in the dock because I probably don't have any guns. There's the sails HP. That's the dock HP and the hull HP. I have not repaired my ship at all. I didn't click any button. I didn't spend any gold. But all these bars went up automatically by magic. I have no idea how that happened. Now let's go to Louisa. That is, if I'm not mistaken, where you should go to, yeah. If you don't find him over there. Let's engage in battle. If you haven't noticed, I'm losing pirates' reputation. So I'm fighting pirates. I could have just choose to leave and that will not affect my pirates' reputation. So I could be a pirate myself in the end, I guess. Because you will have the choice to either help the pirates or help whoever they are being attacked by. Let's hit this guy. Like so. Press in space. Sometimes you go into this panel where you can see a very close shot of what's happening. And he is boarding me, sort of. That's another thing. You don't have boarding as far as I know in this game, which is kind of sad. Basically, your objective is always to have them in that center area where the accuracy is at max. And it seems that you have several levels in which they will probably be different in damage. I'm going to try to show you that right now. So, there's one level over here, a second level over there, and a, se and a third level over there. It seems that um, there are different levels in damage. So, I'm gonna wait for that guy, and then I'm gonna shoot him now. And I wrecked him. Basically, I was destroying his dock, and then I destroyed his hull. At least that's what I get from it. There are three bars. So, let's pick up the supplies, and let's leave. We destroyed two ships. Let's try to... I don't think you... Actually, can. No. Apparently, you cannot interfere with your crew when you are out in the sea. I'm gonna leave this battle because we want to advance a little bit more into the story. He's not here. Rumor has it he decided to head back to the island of Jeanette. Maybe I will be able to catch up with him on the way. This is pretty hilarious. So, I'm this FedEx guy that is going from one side to the other looking for this one. And he's not over here. He was not in the first island that I looked. He's in the previous island, all the way back to where I started the game at. <sighs> I feel just like skipping all the battles because all I'm getting is experience for my crew and a little bit of gold. And let me tell you this, if you screw up big time like I did in my first playthrough and you end up losing a lot of battles because you're still in an experience with the game, it becomes a very frustrating experience because then you will hit this cap where you have no choice but to leave all the battles and try to progress through the story until you need to battle someone and then it's probably game over. Because there's no way to get money other than destroying ships as far as I'm aware. Unless you sell stuff that you have in your ship. But you never get supplies. You cannot be a merchant in this game. This is a pirate game at its essence. It's a battleship game. 
I'm gonna leave this battle as well because my objective is right over there. Faithful friends, let's talk. Mary Jack is with us again, but this joyful news is followed by sad tidings. Our sailor boy, the monkey, didn't survive that creature's cruel attack and Petros was again caught by black birders. I saw a pirate ship when we landed on the island of Amelia. She headed to the east. Perhaps there is there are slaves aboard. We need to stop her before it's too late. So we now got a second hero, which we can use. Let's go back to this dock and do that. So if I choose this slot over here, I can now use this guy, which will give me more speed, more maneuver and efficiency. Let's use him and done. All right, let's get out of here. I think uh, we're pretty set. I need to repair my ship, but apparently I can't do it over here either. I need an advanced dock in order to do that. Now, our objective is to defeat the Black Birder and free Petros. Do we have enough experience to do that? Do we have enough strong of a ship? We don't know. Faithful friends. Engage in battle. Alright. And this is the main story. So, no matter what happened, you had to choose to fight these guys and that takes away pirate reputation. Let's wait for the full accuracy. Let's go now. It didn't do much damage on the guy. So again, I I don't think I need to, to wait for the full accuracy. Let's open up and shoot now. Oh, we're gonna crash on that guy. As you can see on the top left, there are several debuffs that you can have depending on what those guys shoot. If they shoot my sails and whatnot, I should really change my ammo and I forgot to do that. We're gonna do that after shooting twice now from one side and the other. So we're gonna do this and then we're gonna target this guy and do the same thing on this side. There we go, now we're gonna change cannonballs. Let's go with this one. It's the one that does the more damage and I really think I need it. Ah, uh, we're gonna need to do a very f tight curve. There we go. And now let's speed up. Try to catch them. It takes a lot of time to change cannonballs. Okay, let's target that guy over there. Come on, come on, come on. Boom. That was a good shot. That was a really good shot. Now let's get done with this guy over here. It seems that they always go down once that second bar at the bottom goes down. Which seems to be their whole damage. Done for. Let's pick up the supplies and get out of here. Enemy ships destroyed. Two. Experience gain. Two. Wounded. I got one guy wounded and I lost three sailormans. Let's leave. I don't like slave traders. I'm a pirate myself, but trading jewelry is more peaceful business than trading people. Yada yada yada. Now we got another, a third hero in the game. Let's get over here and put him to good use. So we now got, actually it's over here. Look at how much time the game took to finally teach me how to use the sailorman. And even then, Oh, there we go. It doesn't show much and it doesn't explain that much. Tutorials really need to be improved in this game. It took me about what? Four to five fights in the game to finally be taught how to manage this thing. This is one of the cases where you can choose to help the pirates or help whoever is being attacked. And these guys normally have a dock in the map. So the further you help the pirates against these guys, the more risky it will be to go to their dock. I don't know what happens if they don't like you when you go to one of their docks. Most likely either the prices increase or you cannot even dock in, in their place. I'm gonna help the pirates because that's what I want to do in the game. I want to be a pirate even though sometimes you don't have much of a choice. This ship looks really great though. Much bigger than mine. Let's try to hit him. You can hit the pirates in here as well. Not with the cannonballs though. I think the only way to hit them is if you navigate straight to them. This ship is freaking amazing and I'm gonna get wrecked by it. 
Look at how easily it destroyed that pirate over there. And I just got their supplies, which is hilarious. Yeah, he's gonna wreck me. He's gonna definitely wreck me. There's not even... And this guy just navigates straight to me. Good job, buddy. We're doing a great job over here fighting these guys. Now, there's no real game over in the game other than quitting. Your own actions quitting. Because when this happens, when you get wrecked, you basically lose a lot of supplies and you lose a lot of gold, but you're back up to the nearest island. And if you come over here, your ship is a little bit damaged and you can repair it over here. Apparently, this is like midway repairs and to fully repair your ship, you need to go to an advanced dock. But all of this is not explained. Deep down my heart, I really wished this game was good because I love these kind of games, but it's just... I would say at best mediocre and it needs to improve in a lot of ways ladies and gentlemen this is tempest this was my first look into tempest if you like this video please do so and subscribe if you want to see more in the future my name is the sparrow jenny let me know what you think about this game in the comment section and i will see you on the next one bye bye